Okay, today our project is to repack the stoppers on the Doppelflut from the Wurlitzer that we've been working on for so long. And these are a few of them, the ones we're doing today, about an octave's worth, 12 notes. And I didn't like the way the Wurlitzer had packed them, so I've, I've done an experiment here, which I think is going to work beautifully. I've taken this, uh, I think this is sheepskin, if I'm not mistaken, and I put it around two sides because the, the dimension of the pipe will only allow that. And then I cover the, that over with brown skin. And that brings it up to just about the right diameter to fit the stopper into the pipe quite nice and tight. Because it has to be tight or the pipe won't speak the proper pitch. And it'll also sound odd. I'll try to show you. If it's open, it sounds like this. And then if you stop her it, it goes to its proper pitch and the proper kind of tonality. So that's what we're doing. It's a tedious job, but it needs doing. So I repacked this stopper, but it's a little bit loose. It's not terrible, but it's loose enough that it might move while it's in the piano. So. What I'm going to do is take this out. You can see the leather that I put on so far. And I just roll it back like this. Oh, it's just so easy. Actually, it isn't. And then I'm going to put a little piece of this under, which will increase the, the thickness a little bit. And hopefully we'll find tight. And that's all we need. Luckily, the leather is compressible. Not a lot, but some. And so we just keep building it up until it's a snug fit. We got it on, we just fold this back over. And as soon as it dries a little bit, we'll test it. But not quite yet. 